Hello, welcome back to another series of unique fact videos. Today we will explore an interesting topic which is a leading factor in modern advancements, historical events and how we perceive various matters. It is a main and integral source of knowledge through artifacts and historical research which has led us to generate various assumptions, understandings and conclusions. We will explore 10 great nations which once ruled the world. Yes, 10 nations which served as a source of pride, learning, importance and significance. Let's begin. Number 1. The British Empire. The British Empire is one of the most influential and commanding empires to have ever existed. From the tropical areas such as the Cayman Islands, sunny days in the Sahara Desert, tiger hunts in India and being involved in the major partition between India and Pakistan, the British Empire was spread across all major continents of the world, impressive isn't it? There were various motives behind the British taking over areas all over the world, some reasons include, enjoying produce which England otherwise wouldn't have in abundance and establishing trade routes and companies to support the British economy, a perfect example is the East India Company. This did not last for long as the partition among many other events led to countries gaining their independence from British rule. Most colonies were independent from British rule by the 1960s. The effects of the British Empire are many, the most prominent which is language. English is the leading and global language worldwide. Number 2. The Second French Empire. This is a very interesting empire which was ruled by many impeccable and maybe troublesome two personalities. This empire lasted a great deal of time, from 1837 in which the conquest of Algiers occurred till the 1960s. Napoleon III played a major role in the eventual collapse of the empire as he gave France a limited 18 years of peace during his time as ruler. It was also a time of questioning for the commercial and industrial changes occurring. The government was of dual monarchy. New imperialism represented the historical era. Number 3. The Mongolian Empire. The Mongolian Empire is famous for many reasons, one particular reason to mention is the most prominent leader, Genghis Khan, who was named Temujin, at birth. This empire is also known for successfully occupying a massive 16% of landmass on Earth. The areas covered included Southeast Asia to Eastern Europe, serving advantages of trade routes, resources and overall economic welfare. An impressive 210 million people were ruled under this empire. It lasted from 1206 to 1368. Genghis Khan was known for his quick decision-making ability, smart and strategic tactics which made him a well-known leader in his time and history. After Genghis Khan's death, his sons Ogaday and Hochi who took over power and responsibilities, faced many rises and falls. Number 4. The Persian Empire. Also known as the Achaemenid Empire, was the reason behind uniting Central Asia after being the predecessor of the Roman Empire, which also meant occupying 5% of the world's territory. This also meant covering areas across Asia, Africa and Europe, which served as a source of diversity for this empire. It is natural to derive how the Persians enjoyed trade and raw materials cultivation for they had three major continents to take advantages through. This empire was founded by Cyrus the Great. A very interesting fact to mention about this empire is how under Cyrus's era the Persians were very big-hearted, conquered people were most welcome to follow their own culture and way of life as long as they paid their taxes and respected the commands of the Persian leader. King Artaxerxes II was the longest-serving leader who ruled for 45 years. King Artaxerxes II was involved in the following during his long reign, conflict against Sparta, unfolding the Egyptian campaign, revolt of the satraps and peace meditation with the Theban-Spartan War. Number 5. The Portuguese Empire. It was the first global empire to exist in history and be the longest to exist in Europe. It was a colonial empire. Commencing in 1415 and ending in 1999 upon Macau's return to China, an incredible 7% of landmass was under the Portuguese Empire during its existence. There were many monarchs and presidents who delivered their respective ideologies and tactics in this empire. Monarchs, João I 1415-1433. He was the first monarch to rule the Portuguese Empire. His involvement in the succession war with Castile served as a basis for Portugal's independence. His reign stretched a massive 48 years in which he earned the respect and love from his people for his efforts towards his empire. Manuel II 1908-1910. He was the last monarch to rule before Manuel de Arriaga took over as president. Manuel took over after his father, King Carlos I, was assassinated. 
He was praised by his people and often called the Patriot Portuguese, O Patriota. Manuel de Arriaga 1911-1915. Manuel de Arriaga was the first of many presidents who ruled this empire. Jorge Sampaio 1996-1999. He served as the last president before the empire ceased its power. Number 6. The Qing Dynasty. This dynasty was founded in the 17th century upon the Chinese defeating the Mongols. It is also known as the last of many Chinese dynasties, looking after 430 million people in 1850 and had a significant covering over 10% of the world's landmass, until the Republic of China took over. The dynasty is also known for its calm beginning and tumultuous end. It was found in 1636 by Hong Taiji. Languages spoken were mainly Mandarin, Mongolian, Tibetan and Manchu among others. Currency used was cash, wian, tail, liang, and paper money. Number 7. The Roman Empire. This empire was a post-republican period of ancient Rome. This empire had many capital cities, depending on its ruler and political standing. Number 8. The Russian Empire. Also known as Imperial Russia, was founded in 1721 and covered land across Eurasia and North America. Before being dissolved in 1917, it had a population of 181.5 million. The currency used by its people was the Russian ruble. Peter the Great was the first to rule and set a base for the rest of monarchs to follow. He is best known for his strategies and reforms to make Russia a strong nation. Peter the Great is followed by many other notable and prominent monarchs such as Catherine the Great, Alexander I of Russia, Paul I of Russia, Nicholas II of Russia. The empire was known for trading in certain items such as fur, timber, iron and gold. Number 9. The Mughal Empire. This empire was a superior one in Asia. It was founded in 1526 by its first emperor, Babur, a descendant of Genghis Khan. He was not only a powerful leader but skilled in poetry and a noble soldier. His traits were favored and returned him immense success as the first emperor. The Mughal Empire was known for its splendor, intelligent irrigation system building and navigation. The royals were known to live a very lavish lifestyle, with the princesses having summer and winter palaces and the princes for their adventurous taste in tent pegging and hunting. Shah Jahan, Akbar the Great, Jahangir and Humayun are other Mughal emperors who have contributed to the empire immensely. Shah Jahan is known for building the impressive Taj Mahal, which he built for his wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who passed away due to birth complications. The Lahore Fort and Badshahi Mosque are also unique buildings of unmatched architectural significance. Number 10. The Spanish Empire. The emergence of this empire occurred when Christopher Columbus discovered America. It existed until the 20th century. The influence of the empire has led to Spanish being one of the top spoken languages. Founded in 1492 and die established in 1976, the empire spanned over a long period. There were three currencies used over the span of time, Spanish real, escudo, 1537, Spanish dollar, 1598, Spanish peseta, 1869. Trade routes during the existence of this empire stretched across the oceans, since they would trade with their colonies in Americas, Mexico and the Asia Pacific. Capital cities of this empire were Madrid and Valladolid. As you can notice, most of the empires mentioned and discussed have common features or values such as power, landmass and successful leadership. From such observations we can derive how the ancient rulers devised smart strategies to benefit their nation, their people and themselves. We can also derive true leadership characteristics by learning from the previous rulers, their achievements serve as a source of motivation to step up further while their mistakes serve as important lessons to learn from. We also have many sophisticated tangible items to enjoy such as monuments, buildings, palaces, roads and even museums which are always there to bring a flavor of the past. These ten great nations served as a source of learning and inspiration from which we can all become someone better today.